How's it going guys? Wednesday night, of course, and that means one thing and one thing only. It's wheelabet.co.uk time with myself, Chris Graham, and my colleague here, Mark over here, a sporting bet Mark on Twitter. He's got about 20,000 followers. <laughs> huh? How's it going, Mark? Yeah, not bad, thanks, Chris. Yourself? Yeah. Yeah, can't complain. Lovely early spring evening. And let's kick straight on. Three bets. We'll get home for the Man United game and see another <laughs> episode of this fascinating horror movie of a season if you're a Man United fan. Anyway, uh, you got three bets this weekend for the Football League. Two from the Championship. Kicking off with your own team, QPR, who've had a, well, a flaky second half of the season and that's been polite. Just a bit. What's the... What, um, yeah, you mentioned Flaky, you just look at the form since February, 1-2, drawn 2, lost 5, in serious danger now of slipping out of the playoff picture, it would be quite embarrassing when you consider the start we had to the season, away and at Middlesbrough, squad. and the squad, and the money spent on the squad, but um, uh, away to Middlesbrough this weekend, and it's still away form, which is really embarrassing as well, lost 6, 1-3, drawn 1 of the last 10 away in the league, um, I could write a book on what's gone right, and probably what's gone wrong um, over the past couple of months. Um, it's quite easy and lazy to blame Charlie Austin's injury for that. Um, it's not so much the case. Uh, the team's lacking a lot of um, you know, creativity, pace, guile, battle, ideas. Um, but the, the angle here is, is to back at a nil-nil half-time score at 11-10. to 10. Uh, We were completely outplayed at Sheffield Wednesday on Tuesday night, uh, but Richard Dunn's red card and the subsequent penalty uh, went against us. Um, otherwise, I reckon that would have been another nil-nil at half-time. Uh, we've been level at half-time in 12 of 18 away games. 11 of those are actually nil-nil. Uh, four of the last seven away have been nil-nil at half-time. Uh, I mentioned that Don red card, it could have been five from seven. Uh, in fact, in 18 away games this season, we've only scored four goals before half-time, but we've only conceded four as well. Um, Middlesbrough, they follow similar sort of patterns at the moment. Uh, 10 of their 18 home games and yeah. overall 21 of 36 games have been level at half-time. Uh, seen nil-nil half-time score in 10 of the last 12. Uh, kept clean sheets in 11 of 16 now. Um, and has also failed to score in 8 of the last 10. Um, their home record, uh, they only conceded 5 at home before half-time. They have scored 14, um, although only 2 of those 14 have come in the last 5 games, both in the same game as well. So half-time nil-nil at 11 to 10. Yeah, I, I get your point. Now, now he, does, he doesn't agree with me here. See if you agree with me. I still think that QPR team is one of the greatest ever signs to play in the second tier by squad. By, by the players are in that yeah, team by should stats. be winning should be winning that league by about fifteen points. And you know, the, even the fact that uh, England's big up and coming star three or four months ago, Lavell Morrison, ends up at QPR. It's extraordinary. What other side in the championship would get anywhere close to him? Anyway, you're a good friend and I want to say <laughs> more. I did say um, we'd finish ninth. You did, I know you're very, very conservative. Right? Mm-hmm. You should be you should be finished nine points clear, but anyway, <laughs> game two Another game of the championship. Our pal Lee Clark picking up picking <laughs> advertising boards. Yeah. That's what Get you, the thug that he is. <laughs> Idiot. The thug chav guy that he is. <laughs> anyway, you you you're getting involved with his his team's game against Reading on Saturday. Yeah. What's, what's your bet here? To oppose Lee Clark's Birmingham, of course. Yeah. So they're the worst team at home in the championship. <laughs> <laughs> they won two, drawn eight, lost eight at <laughs> home. A terrible record. Just one win at St Andrews uh, since the first of October. Uh, and that was against Bristol Rovers in the FA Cup. Uh, they've drawn seven and lost eight in that run. Um, in fact, since beating Bristol Rovers, they've drawn two and lost five at home. And they've conceded at least twice in, in all those seven games. Um, so that's the angle here. Um, they've won two, drawn two, lost eight in the last 12. Uh, impressive last gasp, equaliser, you could yeah. say, against yeah. Burnley. 3-3, three, yeah. three, excellent result for them. Yeah. But then uh, you sort of have a positive and then you go lose 4-1 at Sheffield Wednesday yeah. at the weekend. We I can't ex- talk. couldn't explain that. I can't talk as a QPR fan losing at Sheffield Wednesday. But yeah. um, Reading are, are at St Andrews this weekend. 1-1, one, one, drawn three of the last four. They seem to have problems scoring goals and picking up mm-hmm. points at home. Not so much on the on the road at the moment. The last six has been very impressive. Uh, against Watford, Ipswich, Millwall, QPR, Brian and Leeds. They've won four, drawn one and lost one. Uh, they managed to score at least three goals against Millwall, QPR and Leeds away from home. I think they're capable of scoring twice at St Andrews and it's 31-20 to 20 for Reading to score over 1.5. OK, another bad day for Lee Clark. Let's hope so. <laughs> I'll drink to that. <laughs> Definitely. Sorry, Chris Quinn. 
Game three. One man band. One man band. God bless him. God bless him. Anyway, I, I've, you know, I've, I must admit, I've not watched uh, Manish in the Football League for, for a couple of weeks. The Manish, my best pal. Smooth uh, Manish. Smooth Manish. But I watched it last night, man. I watched two episodes last night because I've been on holiday, so I'm catching up. I've noticed that York and Exeter have swapped places yeah. in the division. Yeah. York are on the cusp of the playoffs. What the hell have they been taking? Ugh. Anyway. Yeah, you, you, they're, they're playing. Both. I'm still yeah, very excited. Aren't you? I'm still shocked at York. <laughs> they're um, playing against Portsmouth this weekend. Are you with this phenomenal York side? Yeah, definitely. Um, I was going to say League Two is absolutely brilliant this season. Oh, um, so much fun. I was just having a conversation on Twitter this morning with Matt Cook, Kelvin Burt, Gav Horsfall, and a few others about how much League Two is. It's just far away the best league in the football yeah. league at the moment. Nigel Worthington's done a superb job, as you mentioned. I think they're absolutely huge value at 17 to 20 in the draw no bet market at Portsmouth this weekend. Wow. Uh, one nine, drawn three, lost two in 2014. That's included nine clean sheets, which I believe is the best defensive record in 2014 out of all four leagues. Um, more recently, they've kept six clean sheets from their last seven. They've won four on the spin. Away from home, they're getting results as well. One five, lost one, the last six, uh, keeping four clean sheets in that run. And if you want to go further back, they've only lost five of the last 30 league games. Um, now I backed Portsmouth for relegation at 33 to 1 in January. Um, um, so I'm kind of begging them that their poor form continues. Yeah. Rishi Barker, he's done a good job in tightening the ship, but they're not scoring goals. Yeah. If you don't score goals, you don't win matches. Teams all around the market winning matches and putting them very much in the lurch again. I think they're down in 22nd as we speak. Um, they've won four, drawn 10, lost nine in the last 23. They've failed to score in 10 of those games. In fact, they failed to score in three of the last four. Um, at home, quite a respectable record, 1-7, drawn 5, lost 7. Uh, but look at their stats against top half teams at home, 1-1, one, one, drawn 2, lost 5, failing to score in 4. Um, but the key for me here is backing York in the draw no bet market at 17 to 20. Uh, at the very least, you should get your stake back because they've only lost 5 of 30 and Portsmouth have won 4 from 23. Crikey, 17 right. to 20 and draw no bet. Makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? I, I, you're slagging off Portsmouth, that's one of the, it's almost illegal these days to slag off oh, Portsmouth yeah. last five years. I agree with you, Mark. I hope they get relegated. 